for today's SoCal Spotlight, we are visiting one of the most diverse neighborhoods in LA, Koreatown. Yes, from shopping to dining, oh, I love the food, <laughs> to hidden gems, our Shiba Turk is live there now highlighting the area. And Shiba, I want to see a dance move. Give me one. <laughs> oh, it is coming. You know, I got to tease you guys for a bit. Right now, take a look behind me. Everything's all set up for the 50th Los Angeles Koreatown Festival to pick back up today. Things kicked off yesterday with a K pop concert. And before the big weekend kicks off, we spoke with one of the festival's organizers to find out more about what they have planned for this 50th anniversary and the history of this area. Take a look. Well, the Korean festival is very important this year because we actually, is the 50th year that we're celebrating this festival. The festival is held in Seoul International Park and Ben Pak, one of the festival's directors, says they're expecting anywhere from 250 to 300,000 people this year. We have uh, vendors directly from Korea and half of the vendors are here locally and we have uh, amazing food. We have uh, the latest products for our K-beauty. Uh, as well as um, innovative things. Of course, the festival is a celebration of Korean culture, but it's for everyone. It brings the Korean American culture together. Uh, although it's called the Korean festival, seems like 80% or 90% of the attendees are non-Koreans. I believe it's very important to feature each other's uh, food and culture uh, for us to become more cohesive together. We're at the beginning of Koreatown. Yes, actually, this is the beginning. We're in Wilshire and Western, mm -hmm. and actually, it expands all the way to Vermont and Wilshire, actually to Olympic, and uh, to the north would be Beverly. Um, as you can see, most of the businesses are here on the Wilshire area, and to the north of this, around Sixth Street and Third, that's where all the businesses, all the K barbecue and. Uh, uh, eateries are in Koreatown. Nice. And there's such a long history of Koreans in Los Angeles. I was reading that Koreans came here as early as the 1900s. Yeah, that is correct. And all, all places when they arrived in California, they went to Riverside, California. Mm. And they were mainly citrus workers uh, that they came here uh, to work on, on the um, orange groves. And now there's this large concentration here in Koreatown. I understand the largest concentration outside of Korea. Yes, actually, uh, in L.A., we have the most Koreans out of, outside of Korea. By some figures, we have as many as 600,000 Koreans in California. So you're probably wondering, how did this 15 to 20 block span specifically become Koreatown? Well, after the riots in the 1960s, a lot of the Koreans took advantage of the discounted property. And then in the 1990s, after those riots, even though there was a lot of damage, Koreans doubled down and reinvested in the area, expanding it even larger. There are several unique places that the community treasures. CGB Theater is the only Korean theater that we have that features Korean movies. So if you're nostalgic and then you want to go see a Korean flick, that's where we go. And we can't come to Koreatown and not talk about food. Well, as you can see, we're here in one of my favorite places, Korean barbecue. People ask me, why Korean barbecue? Yeah, well, that's what I asked. Well, it tastes the best. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I love it. And so why'd you bring us to this spot? This particular spot, besides being one of my favorites, uh, this is where BTS came after their LA concert. Uh. Um, this is, it's called Pigia because they do have more uh, pork option. But if you see across the street, which is one of my other favorite, um, is Uguk and then the uh, all you can eat. And that's another favorite things about Korean barbecue. Oh, it just sounds delicious. Uh -huh. It sure is. And you say it's healthy. Well, I mean, you have beef, you have uh, vegetables, and then you have rice. How much uh, healthier can I get? I'm no doctor, but it sounds healthy to me, Ben. All right, we've got the Jung Im Lee Korean Dance Academy performing behind me. They are part of this weekend celebration, so we're going to have more dancing from them coming up and tell you more about the festival, guys. It's going to be a fun weekend. That was one of my favorite tours I think you've ever taken. Yeah. Shiva, thank you. <laughs>